Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This is Miss D over here at Closet Sass. Make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button. Make sure your subscribe button is gray and not red. Also to like, comment, and share. Continuously share the channel, guys. Okay, today we're gonna be I'm gonna be showing y'all something on the computer. And today is going to be about labels. Okay. Y'all already know I tell y'all constantly, all the time, that we know we can go to the stores. We can go to um, the different printing places when we want things done like right then. But remember, when you're shopping on a budget, I always tell you guys, when you're shopping on a budget, guess what? Let's do a DIY at home. Miss D is fixing to show you guys how I do it myself over here at home sometimes. And, um... When I'm doing my labeling and stuff like that, okay? But when you're shopping on a budget, and right about now, Christmas, the holidays, Thanksgiving, all of this and stuff. You got Black Friday coming up. And this here is definitely a good, good one for labeling at home, shopping on a budget, saving you some money at the same time, okay? So, today is going to be a DIY of labeling. Now, we know we can go to... Once again, I'm going to repeat all these different stores, but let's try to do a DIY at home. So if you're shopping on a budget, this is for you. Okay. Now we're going to start out with our Avery labels. Okay. Our Avery labels right here. This is the, y'all know when y'all see these right here, you go in Walmart, anywhere you go, Amazon, you order. Guess what? That's your number. They're showing you right here. And this is your size. And this is just the regular address labels. Okay. Today, we're going to do use the regular address labels, and this is Avery. Now, you do know, hold on, and this is the um cards. I got the matted white, did this cards, same thing, and so forth. Inkjet, okay? All right, and this one here is laser or inkjet. All right, now, but today, we're going to do labels address labels if you're trying to brand your product okay whenever you're branding your product okay let's try doing this we're gonna go ahead and go to oh i hope i'm not gonna this camera y'all know i'm known for doing that we're gonna go ahead to microsoft word because i've already been working on it and i said you know what why not share this with them the holidays are coming and guess what we need to save some money Yep, we need to save some money. But my other business, guys, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys that I told y'all I had something to tell y'all in the last video. If y'all seen the video before this, it is going to be um, these beaded gems, okay? That's the name of it. That's what it's going to be. I've been talking with um, someone, a business, someone that's been giving me some little business tips. And they gave me a good idea of what I can do. Remember, I told you guys I was going to do away with by the trees by the Lord's, okay? So, I'm just going to incorporate that with what I'm doing right now. And instead of having like three and all this and that stuff, all of it's still up on the closet of sass. But I'm just going to combine them too. So, by the trees by the Lord's most likely will be, um, I'm going to do away with that and I'm going to put it up under these beaded gems all right so we're gonna start with the labels okay first thing you're gonna do you're gonna take your sheet out right here you're gonna take your sheet out and it's gonna be a set of three okay easy peel your number is gonna be right here okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put this sheet here I'm going to go ahead and put a sheet I've been working on in the computer, in the printer, in the printer. Let me see. I'm going to turn it this way this time. And hopefully I want, and I'm going to show y'all what I did. All right. Y'all see this right here? These gems, okay? Y'all see. Let me see if I can. Okay. 
I've already expanded it some. Okay, if y'all, when y'all see this right here, okay, get your brand already uploaded on your computer, okay? Have your stuff already loaded up on your computer or whatever logo you're using. If you don't have your logo or however you want it or colored words or so forth, just come over here, go to Word, go to Word right here, okay? Open it up. But I already had mine open, so we're just going to go to this. Nope, that ain't what I wanted to show y'all. I wanted to do this one. Right here, okay? We're going to come over here. You're going to copy and paste. Let me do this. We're going to copy and paste. Y'all see what I just did? I just copied and paste, all right? That's all I did. And that was with just the P, okay? I'm going to try not to keep this video long because I want it to be kind of like simple, but a little bit more like in detail. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to edit no video. Okay? So, if we mess up over here, y'all mess up too. Because y'all here with me doing it and Miss D is not going to edit no video. I told y'all, we every time y'all see us do a video, the videos are not always perfect. So, guess what? I told y'all I want y'all to see my mess up too. Hey, it's, it's cool. We all mess up from time to time. It's all right. We just keep going and keep it moving and correcting. So, when y'all at home and y'all doing this, it's fine. All right. Now, once we have copied and paste, and y'all should know how to copy and paste, you go to this little sheet right here. If you want a clean sheet, and copy and paste. And if you done copied and paste one time, it's going to automatically come up anyway. So, I'm going to go ahead and get out of that. Now, y'all already see this is not going to move, right? How do, we, how do I get this to move? I'm going to hit this little bar right here. Y'all see this little square? Y'all see this little square right here? I'm fixing to click on it. It's the um this here is the layout options with text wrapping. Guess what? I'm gonna come all the way down here where it's blank at right there, right? I'm gonna click on it. And it's gonna say move with text or uh, fix position on page. I don't want that one. I want the move with text. So I'm gonna hit move with text. Guess what? Now I can move it. Y'all see? Now I can move it. All right? So I'm going to go ahead and leave this one right here. But And you know this here is like for up and down, up, down, like this. But let me, I'm going to go back. And if you want to undo what you did, go back like that. So right here on these corners, I like to use, it's okay when you're using the side corners, guys, like this. That's fine. But it's better if you use the corners like this. That way you're not overstretching your pick of what you want it to look like, okay? To the point where it's real blurry and you can't see or, you know, or you don't have that actual pick, picture look that you're looking for. So I always use this right here like this, okay? Now, I'm going to leave that like that. Now, what we're trying to do is get it on our labels right we're gonna come up here to mailing gonna click on mailing you're gonna get all of this in layout this is what you're gonna get you're gonna see labels over here hit labels this little box is gonna come up okay you have envelopes and labels right you have full sheet right here for the full page or single page we're gonna do a full sheet now, you see right here where it say options. You have options. We're going to hit options. What's that box for, Miss D? That's what's going to come up. The options. We're going to find our number. What's our number? 18160. Is that it? Okay, 18160. And I'm going to hit, okay, but well, wait a minute, let me back up. I'm going too fast. And right here where it say labor vendors, you see it say Avery U.S. letters, U.S. letter. That's what I'm going to leave it on right there. I'm going to hit okay. No, now why did that skip? Why did that do that, y'all? That is not what I wanted that to do. Hold on. This thing done jumped out of my labeling. 
right quick. I ain't got time to be doing that. What a way. What a way. Six zero. Right here. Address labels. We're going to hit that. We're going to hit OK. All right. Remember, I already done copied and paste, right? So we're going to hit new document. And that's what's going to come up. Now, you can hit this to the point where it'll give you the whole sheet of all of it on here. Okay? But let me see. Since I copied and pasted, can I do that? See? I like to do mine like this, the single-handed, like this. The reason why I like to do mine like that and the single-handed, because if I wanted to write something, you see this little line that's blinking right here? If I wanted to write something like, let's say, um, but I'm going to move that though. Uh, let's see. Nope. Get out of there. Okay. If I wanted to write something, which is this. No, that ain't what I want to do. Stop. Don't do that. Remember, this is not moving, right? Is it moving? It's not going to move. Hit this little box right here. Come right here. Hit move with text to move it. I'm going to size this down some because I don't want it that big. And I'm fixing to see. Okay. Now, you see what I did right here? You see how this done stop and this done set into the, the line itself? Now, see, now I can't move this. I cannot move this. But I can still move this. My wording, right? So, if I want my wording, I'm going to downsize that because I don't want it that big. I'm going to go over here to the size. I'll shrink it to about nine, eight or nine. I'm going to come back right here. Hit my space bar. And this is what I'm going to get. Now, once you have moved this to where you want it and you hit enter, it's, this is what it's going to set to. It's like it's stationary right now. I can't go back and, and, and hit it unless I just hit this back bar right here. Okay? That's it. Once I hit this back bar, it's going to undo everything I did, and then I'll be able to move this. But right now, y'all see, I cannot move this. It, it's not moving for me. Why? Because it's done automatically set right here and, and ready to be printed. So, I'm going to leave this like this, but I really don't want the word there. So, I'm going to come back down and do another paste. Once you have copied and paste, and you hit the little button right here, Right click, I always do a right click, and this little square right here come up with this button. It's gonna automatically always give you this, okay? What you done copy and paste and just hit it. That ain't what I want. Like I say, I like to do. I always, if you don't remember, it's not gonna move. It's not moving. Hit this bar, layout bar. Move with text. Hit that, and put it where you want it. Yes, you can. This is how I like to do mine because if, if I want to add something else besides beaded accessories, because that's the name of my other business, it's going to be these beaded gems. But I have up under it um, beaded accessories, okay? Let y'all know that's what I do for its bracelets and so forth. But I don't really want this on my sticker tabs, on my address labels. But I'm going to leave this here be for the video. And I, I want it like this. That's why I like to do it single. Now, you can very well go back. Let me see. I'm going to open up another page. Let's open up another page. Open up the page. Let's go to mailing. Since I copied and paste, we're going to do labels. And I'm going to hit paste right there. I already hit paste in the middle. It's on full page. On my options. Remember the options, okay? It's already set to Avery and the um number and the size of what it is. I'm going to hit OK. 
I always double check because I be doing some other stuff too. I be done put it on the five by seven, all that kind of stuff. And I'm hitting new document. So but I'm still gonna come here, but it still didn't give me what I wanted. Watch. Yeah, it did. But I wanted to show y'all way it it'll give me like the whole page. So I'm not gonna keep that. We're gonna get out of that. I'm not gonna keep this because that was a blank page. I'm gonna go back to here, what I was working on at the bottom. And I'm going to come over here and do this one. Now, this one, is this the one I was working on before? Okay, that's the size, the upsize one. Okay. Let me see. Where is it at? Where is it at? Because I have several pages open I was working on, y'all. Okay, I'm right here. Right here. Now, let me see. But I'm going to go back here on Word. And I'm going to do this. Let me see. I'm going to hit copy. I'm going to see mailing. It's already on mailing. I'm going to hit address labels. I'm going to hit labels. Now, I'm going to hit. I'm going to make sure it's on labels. I'm going to hit in here. And let me see what it will do. New document. Now, you see what it did? Now, it did it that time. But, but, y'all see it's off. So I have to go back in line if I wanted to and size it up to where I'll love it to fit inside here, okay? So instead of doing that, guess what? I can just do like this. If you don't want to do that, because it's already in the, uh oh, and if it's some of them that you don't want on there, I think it did it double because I had already did it, y'all. Remember that copied and paste. Y'all see how it's where it said ah. That's it right there. See, I had already did it and it did it for me. So what I can do, I can just cut some of them. But like I said, you can always go back and just move it around. But y'all get the picture of what I'm saying. That's what it, and I was trying to do the other, and it didn't let me. So, get out of there. Okay. I don't want that. So, we're going to get out of that and go back to this one. To this one. Let's do this one. I wanted to show y'all mailing. And let's go back to labels. Oh, shoot. Labels. Undo. Undo. This thing here is now getting on my nerves already. Go back to labels. And we're going to do new. Let me see. Make sure it's on labels anytime you do it, okay? Now, y'all see what it did this time? It went right to it, right? That's what I was trying to show y'all. See, that's why I say I'm not editing no video. I'm not editing no video. But sometimes you can do stuff too fast. So that way y'all can see. Now, it's on the whole sheet. I ain't got to do nothing. Right? It's on the whole sheet. I ain't got to do nothing. Guess what? I'm going to save this. But if I still want to move this around, guess what, y'all? I can look. Because that's how it was pasted on here. I can still move it around. Remember, if you want word a word on it, just go back. See that little, um, think the little line that's blinking? That's it. That's all you do. Just go back. But I don't want that. So. And that's what it's going to be. But yeah. That's it. That's what you do. So this is how you can print your own labels at home. Okay, guys. This is how you can print your own labels at home. So guess what? I am fixing to get out of this. And it's going to tell me, do I want to save it? Yes, I do. Since it say label 22, I'm going to take that off. And I'm just going to do um, labels. I'm going to do label logo. I'm just going to name it label. Uh, let me put new label logo. I'm just going to say new label. New label logo too. That way I know what it, what I say that I'm gonna. But remember, right here, 
you have documents or whatever you want to save it up under pictures or whatever you're saving it up under. Make sure you remember because I don't put sometimes I get out of it so fast, y'all. I be done press something I forgot where it's at and I got to hunt it down. So I'm looking right here for my file name and I just put new label logo. So whenever I go to whenever I save it, okay, I want it under that. I'm going to put save and that's what it is. And that took me back to the same sheet that I was working on. Okay, because I have it open down here, out here. Okay. Now I'm fixing to go right. Y'all see this little box right here. I bet you say, Diamond, do you giving us too much at one time? But go back to your file. Your on um, file explorer box. Open it up. And go back and see where you saved it at. Okay. Go back and see where you saved it at. I know it's not over here nowhere because normally it'll be here. If it's not over here on the recent files that I was working on, I'm going to go to documents. And I'm going to go all the way down here to whatever I was doing. I said, what, new logo label too? So, let me see. Where is it? Right there. Y'all see it right there? It's right there. And that's it. Only thing I got to do now, I can print it with my, um, on my sheet. And this is what I'm going to get right here. Y'all see that? And that is cute. That is cute. Now, y'all see it's already here. If you want it on this, Make sure you're using your labels, your address labels, okay? That's cute. You see how good that came out? So that's the name of my new business right there, my second business, because I'm going to do away with um, By the Treats by the Lord, so I'm going to do away with that, and I'm just going to combine it and put it with this, okay? So if y'all see some lip gloss and stuff blended with this, yeah. I'm, just, I'm getting ready for Black Friday, and I just thought I'd share this with you guys first and go from there. Cause that's what I'm doing. I'm getting ready for Black Friday. That's what I've been doing. So y'all go be able to check out um these be the gems. So I'm just gonna give y'all a little taste, a little limited edition for um Thanksgiving. <laughs> so after the Thanksgiving um sale, that's what it'll be. But then the Christmas sale will be kind of be. But I also have some uh, something else special for you guys too. So y'all just make sure y'all post notification bell is on. I'm telling you. And don't forget, I got to put it in here to say this. Don't forget to follow the directions whenever you're participating in the um, giveaway, okay? Our 1K subscribers giveaway, and I thank you guys. I appreciate it. But follow the directions, okay? It'll be one winner. And I will pick a winner from the comments listed below. But this is the new business. And if you want it on this sheet, remember, use your address labels. Go through the steps. Of what I just showed you guys, I'm going to keep this. I'm going to save this. Now, if you don't want it on this sheet right here, okay, get you a piece of card stock. Get you a piece of card stock. I love to use white because it gives me that clear that I'm looking for professional look that I like. Only thing you do, put this in your printer. You print, and you're going to get this on the plain sheet. Okay, y'all see y'all already been working off of it, so. But I'm fixing to show y'all how you can do these too. Okay? Now, since we already have this, guess what I'm fixing to do? Let me show y'all how y'all can use this like this here also. I'm fixing to cut this. Close to it as I can. I'm going to cut it kind of long. Like so. And I'm going to cut it like this. Now, and I'm doing this just for the video because I have my um, other cutting machine, my other cutter. So, I'm just doing this for the video. I'm going to cut this like so, like this. Cut it kind of skinny. I'll clean that up in a minute. And I'm fixing to show y'all. Get your product that you have. Remember, we're doing this 
for DIY at home if you don't want to be in that crowd and you can't get to that store, all right? And you want to brand your stuff, brand your product, all right? When you're branding, look. Look how simple this was, guys. This is what I do sometimes, too. And I'm telling y'all, the first thing I get whenever I send out my own orders and stuff, the first thing they tell me, y'all, the packaging was cute. See how cute that is? Now you done branded your own um, product. You didn't even have to go to the store or uh, get no one to print it for you. Set up your stuff like this. Your info, like you want it, like this. Get you a plain piece of cardstock paper. Hit print. If you don't want to, if you want a lot of space, if you want space in between it, just remember, tab down, just, you know, copy and paste or whatever, however many you want. Tab down, and look, you done branded your um item. Let me see, I'm going to staple this so I can see what it looked like. Or I could have very well put a, use my hole punch. I hate using that little stick. I'm going to get rid of that little thing because it don't do nothing. I'm going to use my hole, or either you can use your hole punch, and when you use your hole punch, you can definitely put your a ribbon tie ribbon once you be done made your hole punch. If you and also don't stick yourself, guys, like I just did. <laughs> I know better mess with this and stick, but hold on. I want to show y'all. Yeah, see, just staple it. Guess what? You just branded your product. See that? You just branded it. How cool is that? And you did it at home. And it'll be cute. Let me see. This piece right here will be another video too. So I'm going to show y'all that. Let me show y'all this. And you can just get your, your bag. Put it in there like so. Your clear bag. Or your um, mesh bag. Whatever you want to put it in. And go from there. That's it. That's it. See? You done branded your item. And if you got a sticky um using this right here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. It's alright. I'll just take it out and use it then for the video. We're gonna do this like so. I got the one to stick it back like this. Y'all see how cute that is? Guess what? If you want it to be the same thing as what you just labeled that as, guess what? We're going to get a label off of here like this. Guess what? We can brand it again at the back so they'll know. See? These be the gems. How cute is that, y'all? How cute is that? You just labeled your product. You just labeled your product. These beaded gems on Etsy, okay? And I would definitely make sure I got at closet and sass on my stuff like this because it's a lot of us doing the bracelets and stuff, and I'm gonna definitely be doing mine. And I would definitely and this, you know what? This is my it's, it is cute. I'm going to show y'all. This is one way. So on video two, make sure y'all see another way. I'm going to show y'all how to do this. Okay? You're going to love it. But that is what? Cute, neat, and simple. And this here was just me showing you guys how you can label your products at home. Just labeling at home. Okay? Like I say, check out some of the other videos that are on here on YouTube. And there are plenty out there that, that you can follow them as well. But I definitely wanted you guys to see this because I've been I just been getting so many questions and stuff about um just a lot of stuff, a lot of content and everything. And I'm trying to get it all together and put it together since everybody been commenting and stuff. And I love when y'all do that. But this is how you can brand at home your and label at home. But stay tuned for video two. But that is it, guys, for this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure your post notification bell is on, guys, so you don't miss a video. Anytime is the upload over here at Cloudless.